In today's video, 10 signs that you are a nutritionally deficient vegan. Roll the titles. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before I jump into the video, just a quick reminder that I'm now offering the SIBO organic acid stool tests and consult via my website. So if you have any health or digestive problems and consider taking these tests as they will provide a lot of very detailed information upon which you can start making informed decisions and then start getting your health back on track. And on that bombshell, to the video. Now, before I go through the 10 main signs that you are running into deficiencies, I first want to cover off the main causes of deficiencies as you won't be able to correct these deficiencies until you understand what is causing them. So number one is poor or inadequate diet. So if you have a poor food supply, if you have poor food choices or follow ridiculous extreme food patterns, then you will likely run into deficiencies. So avoid diets such as fruit only, extended water fasting or things like very low fat diets. So number two is poor digestion. So if you have gut infections such as small intestinal bacterial overgrowth or parasites, or if you have celiac disease or inflammatory bowel diseases, or if you are drinking excessive alcohol, you are again likely to run into deficiencies. Number three is an increased requirement that you are not meeting. So for example, if you're trying to increase muscle mass, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, or if you have an underlying chronic illness and you are not meeting those increased nutritional requirements, then very quickly you will run into deficiencies. So number four is increased losses. And what I mean by this is that you have a disease that is causing you to excrete nutrients at a much faster rate. So it could be diabetes or widespread eczema, for example. And finally, number five is an altered metabolism. So for example, do you have a genetic mutation in your metabolic profile? Do you have underlying illnesses that is causing you to have an altered metabolism? Or are you being exposed to pesticides and fungicides that are causing alterations to your endocrine system? So with those five out of the way, let's discuss the 10 signs that you are a nutritionally deficient vegan. So number one is hair thinning and hair loss. So here I am not talking about genetic hair loss. I am talking about nutritional deficiencies that directly cause the hair to thin and the following are nutritional deficiencies that will cause this. So the first one is iron and iron is a mineral that is needed for DNA synthesis and it also plays a pivotal role in the DNA that is present in your hair follicles. And it stands to reason that if you have too little it will cause the hair to stop growing and also to fall out. Next up with hair thinning is zinc. This nutrient plays an important role in both protein synthesis and cell division, both of which are critical for hair growth. And again, too little zinc and your hair will fall out. Linoleic acid and alpha linoleic acid, niacin and biotin are also other nutrients that can cause hair thinning and hair loss when you have low levels of them in your body. Number two is skin diseases and dandruff. Now, nutritional deficiencies are not the only direct causes of skin issues and dandruff. There are also things like intestinal permeability and leaky gut. But obviously, if you have low blood levels of zinc, vitamins B3, B2 and B6, and essential fatty acids such as omega-3 and 6, then you are far more likely to run into dandruff and skin issues such as eczema or sebdermatitis. Number three is white or red bumps on the skin. So keratosis pilaris is a skin condition that causes goosebump-like bumps to appear on the cheeks, arms, thighs and buttocks. While there is a genetic component for some people with keratosis pilaris, many people also develop the condition when they have low circulating levels of vitamins such as vitamin A and C. Number four is muscle twitching. Now muscle twitching can be caused by things like overexertion, not getting enough sleep, too much caffeine, dehydration or stress and anxiety. But there are also certain nutrients that when low in the body will cause significant muscle twitching. The obvious ones that most people are aware of are magnesium and calcium. So calcium plays a pivotal role in keeping your nerves and muscles working correctly. And magnesium also plays an important role in transporting calcium across cell membranes to support nerve and muscle function. So if you have low levels of calcium or magnesium in the body, then you may experience muscle twitching anywhere in the body, but particularly your face, your eyebrows, and the muscles around your cheeks and eyes. Low levels of vitamin D can also cause muscle twitching in some. Your nervous system needs vitamin D to carry electrical messages from your brain to your muscles. Therefore, if you have low vitamin D levels and your calcium and magnesium levels are fine, then concentrate on bringing up your vitamin D levels. 
So number five is poor nail health. And there are a number of telltale signs in your nails that you have nutritional deficiencies. So for example, there are four types of white spot patterns on the nails that are a sign that you are not getting enough of certain nutrients. So you can have small white spots, you can have white longitudinal bands, horizontal lines or bands, or white skin patches under the nail. Now, as always, there are many causes for these types of patterns on the nails. So it could be excessive nail biting, manicures, hereditary causes, medication side effects, or even nail injuries. On top of white spots or bands on the nails, there are also nail conditions such as spoon-shaped nails, bused lines, longitudinal ridging of nails, splinter hemorrhages, vertical ridging of nails, soft nails, or pallor of nail bed, which are all indicators of nutritional deficiencies. Low levels of zinc, iron, calcium, B vitamins, vitamin A and vitamin D can all cause these nail conditions. So number six is mouth cracks or ulcers. So lesions in and around the mouth can often be a telltale sign that your nutrient levels are depleted. Mouth ulcers, also known as canker sores, are often a result of B vitamin deficiencies and also iron deficiencies. And there is also angular chelitis, which causes the corner of the mouth to crack, split, or bleed. Now this can be caused by dehydration, but it can also be caused by low levels of B vitamins in the body, particularly riboflavin. Number seven is poor night vision. Now clearly the human eye is not as good as a cat eye in that it can see in very low levels of light. But there is a condition called night blindness that could be an indication that you have a reduced ability to see at normal levels of darkness. That's because vitamin A is necessary to produce rhodopsin, a pigment that is found in the retinas of the eyes that helps you to see at night. So if you have this problem, then speak to your doctor and get a vitamin and nutritional panel done. Number eight is restless leg syndrome. Now there isn't massive amounts of science behind this and it's more correlation than cause and effect. But restless leg syndrome is a nerve condition that causes you to have an irresistible urge to constantly move your legs. The correlation with restless leg syndrome is with low levels of zinc, magnesium and potassium. So if you have this condition, then maybe try and increase these nutrients to see if things improve for you. So number nine is back to the hair and specifically brittle hair. So brittle hair is often caused by a lack of biotin in the body and biotin is also known as B7, which is a vitamin that will cause brittle hair or splitting hair if you have very low amounts in your body. And finally, number 10 is bleeding gums. Now, obviously this can be caused by poor oral hygiene and gum infections, but it can also be caused by low levels of vitamin C and D as well as zinc. So if you have ruled out poor hygiene with your dental hygienist, then get your nutrient levels checked. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.